You're watching Keahi Tucker and Stephanie Love on Hawaii News Now, your source for breaking news. We all want to know the secret to living longer. Well, we're in the right place. Yeah, in fact, Hawaii residents live longer than people in any other state. The average lifespan here is 81 and a half years. That's three years longer than the national average. The Department of Health says a woman named Ito Kinase of Kaneohe was the oldest person to ever live in Hawaii. She died in 2003 at age 113. Wow. Really amazing. Mm. Well, now researchers with UH Medical School, U.S. Veterans Affairs, and Kuakini Medical Center have just discovered a surprising new clue to the so-called fountain of youth. It is something you can't buy, at least not now. The lucky ones are born with it. What's the secret to living a long life? Who better to ask than the centenarians themselves? No more prices, no more ups. For Mildred Lum, who is 101 years old, it's... Dancing. Dancing? What kind of dancing? Ballroom dancing. And for 99-year-old Margaret Wong... Pig's feet. Oh, pig's feet. While a good diet and staying active are important to healthy aging, Hawaii researchers have just unlocked a new clue to the fountain of youth. The secrets to eternal youth are in this test tube. In that test tube is a gene called FOXO3, the longevity gene. In the largest, most detailed, and longest study on aging, researchers, including doctors Tim Donlin, Bradley Wilcox, and Chim Che Hay, found... I'm 6'2". 5'11". I'm 5'6". 5'2". Shorter men live longer. We split people into two groups. Those that were 5'2 and shorter, 5'4 and taller. And the folks that were 5'2 and shorter lived the longest. They also have lower fasting insulin levels, they get less cancer. Everybody is born with so many cells, and if you're bigger, you have more cells, so you have to grow more, and you use up a lot of those cells. So my feeling is that if you're shorter, then you have sort of a reserve of, of cells that you can use later in life, and that might have some impact on why shorter people or smaller people have a longer lifespan. Shorter men were also more likely to carry a protective or enhanced form of the longevity gene. This study uh, shows for the first time that body size is linked to this gene. And this gene, because it's so important to so many different parts of the body, the brain, the heart, the lungs, the muscles, the liver, it's really Unlocking its secrets is really key to understanding healthy aging. FOXO3 is like a stress resistance gene. It sees problems and fixes them. For example, if there are too many cancer cells around, it will eradicate them. Everyone has it, but only 40% of people have the protective version. If you have one of the protective genes from mom or dad, it doubles your odds of living to be 100. If you have two of the protective versions, it triples your odds of living to be 100. Their findings, just published, slowly, slowly, are from a nearly 50-year-long study, still going, called the Honolulu Heart Program. It started in 1965 with 8,006 men of Japanese ancestry who underwent a variety of tests at Kuakini Medical Center. All the way to the black line. Set, go. The shorter men outlive their taller counterparts, some by months, others by years. 1,200 of them lived into their 90s and 100s. 250 are living today, with the oldest at 106. Okay, keep going as fast as you can. The FOXO gene has already been shown to double the lifespan of worms. Next, Hawaii researchers hope to test it in mice. The ultimate goal, to one day activate it in humans so that it will help us age more healthfully. Scientists know certain foods stimulate the gene, like Okinawan sweet potatoes, turmeric, and green tea. Moderate amounts of beer and wine help too, and exercise is excellent. Of those lucky few who've made it to the century mark say their best advice is simply to live life to the fullest. I don't worry about how I live and how I'm going to live. I, it just comes. 
God gives me the grace. Great story, but I am doomed. <laughs> Sorry about that, Kiahi. Uh, how tall are you, anyways? Let's, let's yeah, take yeah. a look. Okay. Let's take a look. Okay. Let's take a look. Whoa, whoa, yeah. yes. You're always uh, standing on a box. I, I am always standing on the box. This is the true uh, height difference yeah, here. Yeah. Um, Six three. How tall are yeah, you? I am uh, five four, and uh, I just asked them. The same may apply for women as well. Mm -hmm. In case all the women there watching are wondering. But there's no cutoff. There's no cutoff, and you know what? Uh, just because you're short, hi, doesn't mean you get a free pass. You still got to live a healthy life. There you go, healthy yeah, life. Yeah, but I am sorry. <laughs>